Example C in the text is an interesting example of a real-life use of radicals. The information tells us that we have a pool that is twice as long as it is wide, so two times as long as it is wide, and it's surrounded by a walkway that's a uniform width of one foot, so it's one foot wide all the way around. The combined area of the pool and the walkway is 400 square feet, and we need to find the dimensions of just the pool and the area of just the pool. So the information they're giving us tells us what the total area is, so what the length from here to here multiplied by the width from here to here is. But what we want to know is just what the dimensions from here to here and from here to here are. So we're going to set those to be our variables. We'll set our length to be x and our width to be 2x. And we know that area is length times width. So the area of the pool, the area we want, will be x times 2x. But the area that we know is 2x plus 2, because we got one width here and one width here. So the area that we know is 2x plus 2 times x plus 2, because we got our plus 1 here, one width here, and one width here, one, one foot width. So the length and the width we know is 2x plus 2 times x plus 2, and the length and the width we want is x times 2x. So what we need to do is solve for x. So let's take the total area we know, our 400 square feet, and we'll say that that's equal to x plus 2, which is the total width, times 2x plus 2. So that was the total length, 2x plus 2, times the total width. So the total area is the total length times the total width. Do that multiplication out, we get 2x squared plus 2x plus 2 more x, so plus 6x plus 2 times 2, which is 4. So we have 400 is equal to 2x squared plus 6x plus 4. Divide everything by 2, we'll get 200 is equal to x squared plus 3x plus 2. Subtract the 200 from both sides and we'll get x squared plus 3x minus 198 equals 0. Now I did that because now we can use the uh, quadratic formula on what's left here to solve for x. And x is what we need to know. So we'll take our a, b, and c from this equation. We'll get a is 1, the coefficient of x, b is 3, and c is negative 198. So I'm sorry, a is coefficient of x squared, which is 1, b is coefficient of x, which is 3, and c is just the uh, constant term, which is negative 198. We'll plug all that into the quadratic formula. Let me make us a little more room here, and we'll run that through the quadratic formula. So our quadratic formula is negative b, or negative 3, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so 3 squared, which is 9, minus 4 times a times c, 198, all over 2a, 2 times 1. So that gives us negative 3, plus or minus the square root of 9 minus what, uh, 700, negative 792, so minus negative 792 would be plus, all over 2. 9 plus 792 is 801, so we get negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 801 over 2. The square root of 801 is 28.3, so we have negative 3 plus or minus 28.3 over 2. Now, if we had negative 3 minus 28.3 over 2, we'd have a really negative number, and obviously getting a negative number for x wouldn't make any sense, because we can't have a negative width. So we're going to ignore that and go with the plus, and we get negative 3 plus 28.3, which gives us 25.3 divided by 2 equals x. 25.3 divided by 2 is 12.65. So 12.65 equals x. Now let's kind of circle that with another color here, and we'll use that color to finish up. We're almost done. We know now that x is 12.65,
and 2x is the other dimension. So to find our overall area, we need to say a area is equal to 12.65 times 2 12.65s, which is 25.3. We know that because we got 12.65 by dividing 25.3 by 2. 25.3. And 12.65 times 25.3 is just about 320. So the area of our pool is 320. 320 square feet. And then the dimensions of our pool we already got are 12.65 this way and 25.3 this way. And that's it. We got it.